happens right now. So let's launch our next poll and you're gonna step aside. Uh, we're gonna bring Kate back on. We'll see you in a little bit, Candice, at the end. So Kate, go ahead and join us, please. And let's do the next poll. We're gonna talk about gifts right now. And uh, it's about corporate gifts. And the question is, how do you currently use corporate gifts? Uh, do you use them for employee recognition, client appreciation? Maybe it's a customer that is a longtime customer that you want to recognize. Uh, do you incentivize attendance at an, an event or maybe it's for the holidays with the holidays coming up? I know I need to start shopping for the holidays early for my family uh, or maybe it's anniversary rewards. So we got some good questions coming in here uh, and we're going to leave the, the uh, poll uh, open for about 10 more seconds. Uh, if you do have any questions for Candice or Kate, feel free to put them in the Q&A and we can ask them throughout or we can have some time at the end. Uh, let's end the poll right now and share the results. So it looks like client appreciation is the number one from the attendees and then employee recognition. So um, perfect segue into what Kate is going to talk about here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, launch the slides that Kate's going to talk about here. And Kate, if you're there, you can get started. Great. And Candace, I couldn't agree with you more. I went to my first live in-person event in June, and I literally took a day off of work to shop because I had not put on pants with elastic or that weren't elastic in like over a year. <laughs> so I, I totally agree. It's a little scary getting back out there. And, and like Candace said, the event, the experience that you organize for these guests, that's the delicious ice cream sundae. But the gift, the gift is the cherry on top. It's not necessary, but it certainly adds a little bit extra. So to give you um, an idea of how big of the corporate gifting industry we're kind of talking about, um, it, it honestly has grown. And the a Forbes article actually cited this, but the May 2021 Corsite Research Study um, called Unwrapping the American Corporate Gifting Opportunity really shows some incredible new information. So during the pandemic, uh, it basically changed the game of corporate gifting from simply a routine to an absolute business priority. And this research finds that by the end of 2021, the gifting industry will reach $242 billion. Billion with a B. Yes. Now, mind you, this does include promotional products all the way to premium gifts, everything in between. But what's interesting about this, so the pandemic really drove home the most meaningful effect of a corporate gift, which is making the recipient feel valued and appreciated by the company. So who's receiving these gifts? Just like your poll just kind of said of what you're doing to gift, um, it is actually being split between partners and clients um, as well as employees. So it's actually a 60-40 split with most of the gifts going externally, why 40% is staying internally. Um, and when is this gifting happening? This is the best part. Everyone's got to find their silver linings, right? Always. So the pandemic created new reasons and opportunities to use gifts. And so 48% of that 242 billion is actually being done for and at events. That's almost half of the entire gifting industry being done for events. So that's, that's why it's so important, right? Gifts, certainly in 2020, gifts were being used to engage people during virtual meetings and conferences to reward them for even attending. Um, they were, gifts were used in lieu of incentive travel. Uh, they were sent to encourage and unite big sales meetings and training conferences because they all had to do it through a computer screen. Um, and they were sent basically to stay connected with people. I know my company sent gifts that just, you know, were home cooked meals just to keep us all connected. Uh, basically gifting became an absolute necessity and it happened all year round. And that is where we come in. So Incentive Concepts, we uh, basically can handle all of your corporate gifting needs. We carry premium brand name merchandise and help create gifting programs for every type of occurrence. Uh, we truly deliver the best better. And we do that in three different ways, which enables us to work with every single group size and budget. So our first way is the on-site experience. It didn't happen a whole lot in 2020, but we're definitely getting back into that. This is when we actually show up at the event. We build a pop-up shop. All of your recipients walk through, touch, feel, and walk away with exactly what they want. These are our main event brands. Um, we focus on these lines because they're easy to be carried away. 
So Bose is audio, luggage from Briggs and Riley, drinkware and coolers from Corksicle, polarized sunglasses from Costa Del Mar, percussion massagers from Hyperice, purses, wallets, jewelry from Kate Spade, watches from Seiko, and then Trek Bites. And that experience is actually done in conjunction with our virtual gifting platform because let's face it, nobody is getting on a plane with a bike. So when we come on site, uh, we bring about 160% so that of the merchandise so that everyone is getting what they want. We have fully branded interactive displays where we can demo, you know, Bose stuff. They can try everything on. They choose from a variety of styles, colors, and options. And our team manages the entire process from setup, inventory, walking each guest through, breakdown. We handle it all, leaving you to deal with your other event details. You can also combine any of our different uh, brand experiences to create a really neat sound and style where they can choose from one or both of the brands. So really great ways to kind of combine. Or we actually created the Select Signature Collection, which actually brings six renowned brands together. So with this one in a beautiful display, it's this bottom picture down here, beautiful display, um, brings together Bose, Briggs & Riley, Cashmere Counter, Costa Del Mar, Kate Spade, and Seiko. So it's truly guaranteeing something for everyone. And all of these on-site events, they can be done in conjunction with our virtual gift platform, which is also really great for international programs. So say you don't want to get 160% of the merchandise into an international company or international country, pardon me. We can actually send samples and they can still touch and feel but then they'd make their choice online and we would ship it directly to them. All so right. We were, we're going to pause for a poll. Yep, go ahead, Andy. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to do one more poll here, but and we are getting close to our time here. So let's do the quick poll here. And it's about what type of gift would you most want to receive during an event? So from what product category would you most want to receive a gift? Uh, your choices are audio, fashion or style, fitness or wellness, recreation, like a bag toss or maybe a dartboard, home goods, which would be kitchenware or a small appliance, luggage or an outdoor gift. This is a good time of year to get an outdoor gift like a grill or a fire pit, I'm sure. Um, but let's see what everybody says here. And we're gonna get, get this one going kind of quick. So 10 more seconds to take that poll and let's look at the results. From what product category would you most want to receive a gift? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll right now and let's share the results. Uh, looks like the number one category is fashion or style. So like handbag or sunglasses, I'm sure there's lots of other opportunities there in that fashion or style category. And Kate, you wanna just address the, the fact that fashion and style was number one on our uh, poll here? Of course, that seems about right. Um, we, so in the, the Corsite research study, kind of used a ranking methodology um, to find out what exactly corporate buyers are wanting. Um, and that's different than what you want to be gifted. This is what you as a buyer are looking for to gift other people. But basically it found, and if you want to switch to the next slide, um, yeah. basically it found that uh, using ranking methodology, buyers are seeking higher quality of products, greater variety of gifts, a timely delivery, and a simplified end-to-end -end gifting process. And again, this is where we come in. <laughs> in addition to the on-site experience, Incentive Concepts also does uh, straight product purchase. So this is kind of when the one size fits all, like if you're doing a room drop or some conference swag, if you wanna get your logo on the product, um, we can actually get a logo on almost all of our offerings. But what makes us different is that we have a minimum purchase of just one. So even if you're looking for like a speaker gift, a retirement gift, a one-off thank you gift, we can help you even with that. And then of course, up to the mass quantities of products as well. We also do virtual gifting, which I previously mentioned. Um, what I love about this is this now opens up to all of our 40 plus brands that we carry. Whereas before we're just focusing on those event brands, this we're shipping directly to their homes. So now we're talking patio furniture, grills, cooking, you know, cookware, all sorts of stuff. Our virtual gifting program is all inclusive. Um, it, it, you can customize all the different offerings. We can work with as many gifts as you want to offer or as few. Um, we can work with almost any price point. Uh, the per code cost is actually determined once the curated selection is made. Um, but that one-time price includes the custom redemption site, the product itself, and shipping to a U.S. address. So no hidden fees. 
The Corsite research study that I keep mentioning, which you should all definitely look up, it is an absolutely wonderful start study. Um, it found that gift cards are the most purchased type of gift, estimated at 30% of the overall corporate gifting market. That's almost $90 billion. What I love about our event card is it's giving the gift of choice without putting a direct value on it. Whereas a gift card, you're handing someone $100 and saying, thank you. With the event card, they don't see a price point. They only see the options available to them. So again, it's handing them a card and saying, thank you so much for your work. Please choose something that you're going to love. We can do it with either a physical presenter, like you see here, again, used for a pre-show winner box or when you're handing out on site. But we also have an animated digital code that can be sent with a custom email. This envelope here can actually be, you know, customized for you. Once they get that unique code and go to the redemption site um, and they put that code in, everything becomes completely customizable. So the welcome page is completely how, what you want it to say and your company logo will be on every single page throughout. Um, so basically, in summary, because we're, we're definitely past time here, um, corporate gifts are really, really important and incentive concepts would love to help in any way that we can. So I will leave you with my biggest tips when choosing corporate gifts. One, plan ahead and know your budget. One, you have to give lead time. Certainly with the holidays coming up, everyone, people are, are feeling the pains of shipping and getting product in, inventory issues. So give us lead time. Give any company you're working with lead time. And know your budget ahead of time. You don't want to pick out a gift that you fall in love with that is way out of your budget. So lock that down before you choose anything. You also need to tell a story. And that means that you need to know the goal of what you want to achieve by giving this gift. So is it celebratory? Is it to reward them? Is it to motivate? Is it to thank them? Once you know what you want the gift to do, choosing the gift becomes much easier. Everyone wants a personal experience. Um, it's very hard. I mean, if you're buying for 25 clients, it would be extremely hard to go out there and figure out a personal gift for each and every one. Uh, so if you can't do that, then definitely offer a gift of choice. But be careful with that. Don't offer too many choices. You don't want to confuse people or overwhelm them. You have to consider everyone. So especially when it's at an event, it's hard to please everyone. So again, that's why the gift of choice is just always a winner because who better to choose for somebody than themselves? Um, and the final thing is to choose a quality product. Nobody wants junk and nobody wants the money that they spent on a gift going into going to waste in a junk drawer or at Goodwill. Right. So make sure that you're, if you're spending the money, spend it well and get a quality product. Thanks. That's, that's kind of all I have, Andy. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to open it up for any additional questions. I haven't seen any questions come in lately, but Candace, maybe uh, we'll stop share here and we can all turn our cameras on here. Great presentation, Kate. Candace, yeah. any uh, thoughts after listening to Kate's presentation? I love that idea of doing an upgraded speaker gifts and having it go through you guys and getting it branded. That's very, very good idea. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, um, I and then I love that you guys are always on the cutting edge of what the cool new brands are. Um, I saw a few on there that I'm really excited about adding to our portfolio for our gifting as well. So I, I, that was that was very informative. Thank you, Kate. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, we do want to be cognizant of people's time. We did run a few minutes over. Not bad. Just about four minutes over right now. Maybe it'll be five by the time we wrap up. But we want to thank everybody for joining us for today's webinar. And we appreciate you tuning in. And hopefully you learned a little bit something. Uh, as a special thanks for joining today, we will be drawing three names for people to receive a Bose Soundlick Revolve Bluetooth speaker. And we'll be drawing those this afternoon and contact you by email. Also, we will be posting a recording of this webinar on the PIP Connect YouTube channel. So if you'd like to share it with anybody on your team or uh, your company or CEO, you'll be able to do that. And uh, lastly, please take a moment to explore PIP Connect website. It's pipconnect.net and you can find and explore different premium gifts. And there's even a place where you can book an appointment with somebody from our team, uh, the Incentive Concepts team. Uh, to talk about the holidays, uh, gifting, or 2022 and beyond. So, uh, Candice, thank you so much again. And Kate, thank you. Uh, hopefully, you all have a productive and enjoyable week. And uh, uh, with that, that concludes today's webinar. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.
Bye-bye. Thank you.